the puppers are eating. We have brought the Buick in. She's sitting on the hoist. Uh, the plan is to doll it up and, uh, I don't know, I might put it on the market. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm kind of over it. I want to build a new car this winter. It's going to replace this bad boy. So we'll see whether it happens this year or I'm going to sell it in the spring. I don't know. But till then, I need to fix a few things. We had a misfortune. This one broke. And then my other one broke too. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get some uh, tempered glass made. That one was kind of a fluke. I think the window got rolled too far down the door. And then this one, well, this one just got murdered. So there's clearly something in this jam I'm going to go check out. Um, motor went flawless. It's all good. So I'm going to do the transmission because it has a high stall and a shift kit. And I kind of want to keep that for myself. Uh, the next car I'm doing, I want to use that transmission with uh, a cammed up engine. That's kind of my plan there. So pull the transmission, do that. I have to order some more portal walls for now for driving around. No, I'll probably just paint these like the other side. The other side, they lasted super good considering they got probably over 2000 miles on them. I'm actually pretty impressed for the paint. They're a little dirty, but uh, I don't know. They're actually looks fine. It uh, needs another coat of paint. That was the only thing. I just did a light coat. So <clears throat> for now, I'm going to just give her another dusting and be good to go for now. I think that's about it. That's about all she needs. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to get started. We're going to lift it up and start pulling that transmission out. I have another ADE in the garage, so... I'm just going to throw that one in and uh, it'll basically be stock because the motor is bone stock. So it may as well have stock and stock together, right? All right. Hey, Pablo, you are just giving her there. Hey, buddy.
Well, folks, I know that was not interesting, but we got the drive shaft in, transmission's all back. Had some problems on the old transmission. These little uh, tubes were a little rotten on them because they're like a push connect with a clip or whatever. Anyways, I stole them off the other tranny. Everything's all bolted together. We'll have to test it. It should be good. I mean, the thing came from Bucks or whatever, and it looked like it was a driving van, I guess, way in its time. Anyways, I know it seems like an excessive amount of work, but it's just due to this tranny having the, uh, I have uh, a 2800 stall in it. I think it's a 28, but it's like a circle D converter. And then I have a shift kit in here. So for my next build, I want to use this more transmission and motor or not my next, well, whatever this winter's build, I want to use this stuff on it. But uh, I figure I'm just going to throw a stock motor or stock transmission in because the motor stock and these parts, by the time you get them up here from the States and today's dollar for us, I think this converter and the shift kit, I'm probably close to thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for sure on top of the transmission. So you could have like, this thing's almost like I saved myself like two grand. So we're going to use that in our next project. This one doesn't need any more in stock. Honestly, this thing could have just had a 60E and it would have been fine in this setup now, but because it's got set up for the bigger transmission i'm just leaving it in i don't have one of the other ones i had one of these anyways no big deal um i think i'm just going to bring it down and start it just go through the gears make sure everything is good before i call that done but then uh, i think next step is i am going to clean up these sidewalls so i'm just going to basically splash some paint on there i haven't ordered the other stuff yet so we'll uh We'll just paint them for now. You can see what's left of this one. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna peel that out, done. Good enough for now, till we can replace that. Anyways, let's lower it and see, hopefully it goes through all the gears good. Now or never. Although I've had the battery disconnected, so I don't know how happy this thing will be starting the first time don't need those don't need that got a little reverse action There are some gears. Alrighty. Check the fluids. I think I'll call it good. We gotta be low. There's no way around that. Okay. We are gonna paint these white walls. Well, we're gonna paint them on. So I am just using some 3M, whatever. Whatever I found that was cheap, a Scotch-Brite. Some glass cleaner. And just a rag. Now this is just what I had on the side of the road when I painted the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing. First of all, I'm just gonna clean it. I actually use this to scrub the white wall. So I think that's the process here and then I'll wipe it down after. Uh, Pablo and Buddy seem to have found a, a friend somewhere outside they're chasing. Anywho, let's scrub. I want to get all the black from the portal wall off of here. And I just want to clean, get any spots off the tire. And right around now, I think I will speed this up for you folks so you don't get bored. So I think your results would vary, but because I had portal walls on, they were actually digging into the, into the white wall a bit. That's why you see some black on this edge. Oh, 
I'm not too concerned because, like I said, I'm going to eventually get some new portal walls for this thing. I do have a lot of spots around the outside, so I think I'm just going to clean that off. And all I'm using is just some spray glass cleaner to clean everything. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the back tire. I'll save you the grief of watching me scrub again, but I'll get that one prepped up and then this one should be ready to tape off. So here's my arsenal and one, I have a good roll of really good tape and I'll show you why it's worth spending a lot of money on a good roll of tape. Anywho, I do my rim and then this, it's not too bad here. I got some, some mineral spirits or thinner that if I accidentally get something on something I don't want I can wipe it off anyways we are I'm just doing this to get deep into the rim and uh, then I can put the two inch around this perimeter after I'm sure all of you folks, some of the old cats probably were painting white walls way back in the day. They used to sell paint for it. I think they still do. I don't know if it's any good. Everybody tries everything and it always seems to be hit and miss if it works. So this is where the good tape comes in. Otherwise you have to do this garbage, which really sucks constantly doing that. So the problem with cheap tape is it doesn't like going around curves. See how it all wrinkles and does some junk? I don't know if you can see that, but I'll get you in there. So, oh, sorry. There we go. So with cheap tape, if you try to go around a curve, it just wants to bundle up. See how it all goes all crinkly around here? Even if I try to do it the good way, it just doesn't want to do it. So, a good quality tape, what you can do is, if you gotta go around a curve, stick your finger on the inside of the curve. So if I start up here, I can actually, this stuff will follow this curve really nice. So I'm going right to the edge of my white wall. And just makes life easier, so much quicker. And all I'm doing is giving myself a good run on here and I can kind of go in and I just, it sticks really good. So versus taking 20 minutes or a half hour, it'll only take me a couple minutes here to do the whole wheel. Now, yeah, the cheap tape, it'll probably tear. If you keep trying to do this, so you'll, you'll know. You got to spend the 10 bucks on a roll or whatever it is, which is baloney, but whatever is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, I'll zoom you out. I'll speed this process up here.
This is what I've used in the past. I've used the uh, trim clad galvanized metal, like basically a primer. Um, but this is like a dirty white. You can see it's not as nice as this white. So I felt primer would work. A buddy told me about it and he says primer's flexible, so it should work good on a tire. So anyways, I found this stuff, which is uh, Rust-Oleum, uh, but it's a primer as well, like a white satin primer, white flat. I don't know, it's a white primer. Anyways, uh, can't say it works better or not, but it doesn't seem to crack. Uh, maybe just because my tires are old and I've sanded them, they don't bleed through. But I got over 2,000 miles on the other tires and they seem really good. I'm going to put another coat on those. But for now, I'm going to... Uh, I want to get two light coats on. Like one coat pretty much will cover. Uh, when I did them before on the road, I just was worried about overspray. So I had like everything taped off. Here I'm not too worried because I can wash it off after. So we'll leave it at that, let that dry. I'll do the back quick and then give my other side a quick coat. I'll show you those in a second here. But first we'll blast these. All right, well, I'll give it another coat and then we'll bring it back and show you what it looks like. Well, there we go. This one I got, well, we put one more coat. I only had one coat on, so they're good. They weren't cracking or doing anything. I don't know how to tell you folks any different, but I guess your mileage will vary. But anyways, see, you can see I went up to the edge of the skinny white line, so it's not a crazy oversized white wall in my eyes, but it'll do. I went to that because when I get a set of portal walls, they will cover what I just painted, so. And maybe this will just work out and I'll leave it. I don't know. I never mind, I don't ever mind not having a set of portal walls on the wall here, so you can always use them. So anyways, we got these done. So that, uh, we got those done. The transmission swapped. The only thing left is like I do a little bit of interior. Some parts came apart a little bit. And my glass. I guess I'll bring it down and I'll show you my glass scenario. <laughs> so here's my problem. So I'm basically going to end up pulling the glass out. I won't do it right now. This one, I think my wife rolled the glass down too far and then this ran past the channel and then I was able to flop in the door. So I got to build up my window stop because the car is chopped, right? So the glass is shorter than where the original stop is. So I'm going to build the stop up so that can't happen. And I think I had something similar on my side, but maybe not. There might be something in the channel that maybe I missed or something. So. This one's got worse. <laughs> uh, my track record in glass, just for the note, is just never really very good. So you kind of get over stuff like that because it just always seems to get broken. Anyways, let's see what our fresh white walls look like. Look at them, eh? I don't know. They look good for something painted anyways. You'll have pretty much no money in it. 
Honestly, it looked like a bunch of work. You might question why I didn't take tires off. I could take the front one off. The back one's very miserable. You got to take the air out of the tire and do all this stuff. So it was on the lift anyway, so it was just easy to do. What was total time? Ah, I think scrubbing everything. I don't think I had more than an hour, hour and a half to do all the tires. Well, this side was done. I just taped them up. I cleaned it and then taped it. Put a second coat and then I put two coats on the other side. And material was just... Whatever, two rolls of tape and some paint, a scuff pad, and some cleaner of some kind. I use glass cleaner because it's just what I had, so, and what I used on the road, and it seemed to work, so. Anyways, I think that's it for right now. I'm going to, uh, we'll be pulling the glass later. I just think we're going for a cruise, so. I think I'll take this car because it almost looks like it's going to rain today, so. Anyways, till later when we start working on pulling glass. I think this round I'm going to go to the glass shop, get them to cut me some new pieces. And then I think we're pretty buttoned up for now with this sucker. All right, well, I got the glass out. I'm gonna be bringing this in. I'm gonna get the glass shop to cut it. I don't know, there must be something in my driver's door that caused that. And then this one, I think it was just, my wife rolled the glass down too far and then it did that wobble like I was saying. I know everybody's watching me struggle with these things. And I do know the tricks where you put a rag under there or even have a proper tool to fork it out. The problem with this thing is, now either I got the wrong clips on here or something, See how when it's in this clip, you can't even see the fingers of it. That's why you're seeing me digging. I'm trying to get this thing to pop up just enough that I can dig it out. So I don't know. Either I got the wrong clips or something. I, uh, I definitely struggle with this. The other doors weren't too bad. This one, I think it's because the fingers aren't big enough. But that said, if the fingers were bigger, my uh, my inner part wouldn't fit I'll show you this part wouldn't fit right if the fingers were bigger so I don't know if there's a a funky tool for this or a guy needs something different but I uh I definitely do struggle with this I'll tell you that much and a bunch of my cars are like this so I don't know what the deal is usually this groove goes all the way around and there's a slight little pin to hold the clip out and then the front's open like this and you can get a a sheet metal tool that kind of goes in and it just pushes the clips out 
or you can do where you run a rag and you just kind of walk it through but you can't put it on the outside here because it's smooth and then the clip goes into there so I don't know I just figured I'd point out that I'm not an idiot <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like a struggling like one like this I end up going and getting a dental pick and I'm able to pull it out enough that I can kind of hook the back of this clip and pop it out anyways enough babbling I'm going to bring this to the glass shop and get them to make me some new glass for the side of the car well we got our glass today that took about a day it was I think taxes in about a hundred bucks a side the price of uh, the glass around here just seems to vary all the time but Hey, it's not broken, so that's what matters in the end. <laughs> uh, I'm going to unpackage this stuff, and then I am... Um, ooh, ooh, if I can be very gentle putting that in or not. Get all of our broken stuff out of the way. All right. I'm gonna scrub out these rails quick. Well, they're not too bad. So we gotta get some new glue in there. We are gonna get out our glass, which is actually the same both sides, so that was nice. Which, by rights, it should be. <laughs> if a feller did his chop right. Alrighty, well, I'll save you this grief, but I'm gonna Nice. Well, hopefully it lasts this round. We'll find out. <laughs> Anywho, I'm, uh, we're going to get them stabbed into these rails, get a little slab of glue in there, prop them in on each side, and uh, put everything back together. And then she's good to go. Kind of get her going. Kind of miss that one right now. It's the only car I have with the heat that we got that actually has AC in it, which is very, very nice. Compared to some cars, like this one, not so much. <laughs> that was warm. As long as you drive in the window, she moves some air, but... All right. Like I said, let's get this thing back together. Cue the time lapse. Well, we are done. I think the only thing left to do 
is, uh, after our little endeavor there, is to uh, wash off all the splits from uh, our road trip. Lots of bug guts. Uh, I know, it doesn't seem very late, but our car wash is actually closed, so I think that's going to be tomorrow's plan. Hey, Pablo? You want to go for a ride and we're going to go, uh, go wash the Merc or the Buick? <laughs> How's that sound? You don't care, eh? You're hot. You just want to lounge and do nothing, huh? All right. Well, till tomorrow, I'll take you for a rip. How's that sound? And we'll go hose down the Buick. Go ahead. Oh. oh, you're gonna sit back there? All right, good stuff, buddy. <laughs>
right. Well, it's clean-ish. As clean as five dollars will get me. <laughs> uh, you know, you get tired of the car, but then you don't. It's one of those things, eh? Hey, pup. It's kind of like you. I get tired of you sometimes, but... Anywho, I, uh, I think this is where we're going to leave this one. Oh, I do want to make a, a comment out there. A lot of you folks have been getting some, there's some scams going through the comments about uh, somebody's winning a prize or something. They're all hoaxes. It's not me. Uh, we keep reporting them, but they just keep making new accounts. So if we are ever to give something away, we would let you know through the channel, but I, I don't see, yeah, don't fall for that. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.